Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Albert and today, due to the fact that it was a horrible weather outside, I couldn't miss this opportunity to take this lady out. Now, I consider the Jaguar XE like a beautiful woman on heels. And why? Well, first of all, when you see it, you want to take it for a coffee. After that, you want to invite her to dinner. And by the end of the evening, you're gonna probably want to take her home. So, well, by the end of the video, we will actually find out together if this is the car to take home. This car was provided by my friends at CarZ. CarZ are a specialized second-hand car dealership located in Ipswich. All their cars have six months REC warranty, which is extendable up to three years. All of them come with fresh MOT. If you want your car part exchange, they can help you with that as well. Low credit score, no worry. CarZ have you covered. If you want your car delivered all the way across UK, you guessed it, they can provide that as well. So, this car is advertised for sale at carz.ko.uk. Check them out. The front end of the Jaguar XCR Sport is a key aspect of its sporty and aggressive design. The car features a sleek and modern grille, which is flanked by sharp and angular LED headlights that gives it a furious look. The car also has a set of signature J-shaped daytime running lights that adds to its distinctive appearance. The hood of the car is sculpted and streamlined, providing both aesthetic appeal and improves the aerodynamic. Overall, the front end of the car is very sexy, modern and aggressive at the same time. Now, the things that I like about it is that the front bumper it's very muscular and very sporty. You have this chrome finish over here. The chrome continues all over the front grille. Also, the Jaguar badge sits proudly in the middle of the car. Overall, the car is beautifully designed. The parking sensors are hidden right over here. You can barely notice them. And by all means, I do consider that this is a very, very sexy front end. What do you guys think about it? The Jaguar XC was first introduced in 2015 as a compact executive car. It was designed to compete with the BMW 3 Series, Mercedes C-Class and Audi A4. The XC has undergone several updates and facelifts since its debut, with the latest model being released in 2021. This car that I have here today has a 2-liter diesel engine, which of course is turbocharged and produces 180 horsepower and 430 newton meters. Also, this one is connected to an 8-speed automatic transmission and it goes from 0 to 60 in around 7.5 seconds. What is impressive about this engine is that it can do around 55 miles per gallon. The side profile of the car is sleek and aerodynamic with a sporty and aggressive stance. The car sits on 18-inch alloy wheels and they've been blacked out. Personally, in my opinion, I like this. You can also get them on 19-inch, but they're gonna be more uncomfortable. The car has a sculpted and a streamlined body that it's designed to improve its aerodynamics and to reduce wind resistance. Mm -hmm. 
One thing that I do like on this car is the fact that the black wheels go along with the black trims over here. We do have the mirrors which have the turn signals integrated in them. Now these are retractable and heated mirrors. They've been adjusted to improve the car aerodynamic by reducing the wind resistance. Another little thing that I do like about this car is this badge over here. Now this looks extremely sexy, especially with the R Sport logo. Now this is a little thing that I do love about this car. The rear end is as sleek as sporty as the front and side profiles. The car features a short rear overhang that oversized its dynamic look, while the sloping roof line adds to its aerodynamic profile and its sportivity. I do like these tail lights, they are LED and they look quite good and modern and it has this nice pattern. The car has one exhaust as you may see which, well I do prefer a twin exhaust but this one looks better than uh, its rival. Now I like how the Jaguar badge is placed here and uh, it makes the statement that you have a luxurious and sporty sedan. I do like this rear spoiler here which emphasizes the sportiness of the car and it gives this car more of a sexy look. Also the parking sensors have been integrated seamlessly into the rear bumper like a fashion trend. And also we have a rear view camera which is placed underneath here to give you visibility when you want to back up into a crowded parking place. Overall the rear end of the Jaguar is as sexy as a woman on heels. The time has come to check the rear boot and we press a button here the boot pops up and this is it. You have 410 liters of cargo space which is a little bit less than the BMW and the Mercedes and the Audis. But considering that this car looks so well on the inside, I can pass that. In the boot, it's interesting that we have the AdBlue tank because this car has Euro 6 emission regulations and you have the AdBlue tank placed into the boot. Overall, this is quite spacious and uh, doesn't matter if it's a little bit smaller than its German rivals. Well, that's that. Now, let's talk about the interior of the Jaguar XE. The interior is just as impressive as the exterior. The car has a spacious cabin providing ample legroom and headroom for both driver, passenger and for the rear passengers. The car has a black rooftop which adds to its sporty look. The quality of the materials are brilliant. You have the dash covered in leather. The steering wheel has this soft leather and it feels so nice and pleasant when you touch it. The seats are brilliant. They are excellent for long journeys. They hug you in all the right places. The leather is very soft and comfortable. I honestly love these seats. They have the perfect amount of lumbar support and they have a soft cushion for your bum. I like how the door cards are integrated into the dashboard. It seems like a perfect cockpit. The attention to detail, it's remarkable. Even on the air vents, you have a little Jaguar inscription to remind you that you're not driving just an ordinary car you are driving a Jaguar and of course the R Sport logo on the steering wheel looks great as well and if that's not enough you have a Jaguar badge right in the middle of the dashboard which gives this car an elegant touch. The climate controls are very easy to use and they are quite intuitive. Now one thing that tricked me it's the fact that the climate controls only have a screen right here. I really thought that this is gonna be the screen for the climate controls but you just have these little two screens here and for the rest of the controls you just have some plain little buttons over here. You just have some 
Where's the quiet button? Oh. For the rest of the climate controls, you just have some little lights that turn on and off when you press the different buttons. This car also has heated seats. The only thing bad about the heated seats is the fact that you don't have physical buttons. So you have to press this button over here and you have to go to the climate area and you can adjust the heated seats. Overall, the dashboard layout is brilliantly elegant. It looks good. It has this piano black over here that complements the rest of the luxuriousness of this car. The gear shifter pops up when you start the car, which is something that I loved since I seen it for the first time also in a Jaguar. Right here we have a couple of buttons that control the driving modes. You have the dynamic mode, you have the normal one and the eco, which is little, and also a winter mode. Now, one little thing that I like about this feature is the fact that the gauge cluster changes color. As you can see, when the car is on dynamic mode, the dials are red to emphasize the sportiness of the car. Now, when you put the car on normal, the lights are turning into this bluish color, which is something that I truly like the, due to the fact that um, it emphasizes the driving character of the car. The infotainment system, as I mentioned, uh, it's quite easy and intuitive. This is something that you can find on the Range Rovers that uh, are specially created in this time frame. And uh, it's very intuitive to use. You have the navigation, you have media, you have Bluetooth, and uh, you don't have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, but, well, fair enough, these are the things that you have in the Jaguar. If you go through the settings, you can find a lot of things like um, adjusting the volume, the language, time, date, unit measures, um, screen savers, which is something that I don't really understand why car manufacturers are placing this into the cars, considering the fact that you are not allowed to watch TV while you're driving, but somehow you are allowed to watch a screen saver. Anyway, this is the infotainment system of the Jaguar. It's simple, easy to use. The touchscreen is very responsive. Jumping into the rear seats of the Jaguar. Now, I have to tell you that I'm not as excited as I was driving this car because um, I was quite surprised by it and very, very, very happy when I seen it and uh, I actually drove it for the first time. But to be honest with you, the rear seats aren't that bad. They're as elegant as the rest of the car. You do have this armrest here, which has two normal-ish cup holders. Now, these are not good for bigger bottles, but you can place your cup of coffee here, which is more than decent. The materials are brilliant as well. The leather is soft. Even the cushions here are soft and uh, they do provide um, a very, very nice feel. They do provide a sense of luxuriousness and um, it's a pleasant feeling being here. Now, in the rear seats, Jaguar says that you can actually fit three people. Now, I am 5.10, almost 5.11-ish, and I do have decent amount of leg room. I do have decent amount of headroom, but I don't think you can fit three of me in this back seat, honestly. But, well, if you want to feel like a clown car, you can actually try and fit three normal size adults here and uh, <laughs> when you get to their destination it's gonna look like a clown car nevertheless i do like the door handles over here they are uh, wrapped in leather i do like where the buttons for the windows are somehow uh, they've been placed upwards and i do like it this is the first car that i actually see where the buttons have been placed buttons for the windows of course have been placed so high and somehow it works i don't know why but it works anyway overall the old design of this car it's brilliant the interior is elegant and stylish and yes it's a very pleasant place to be so the time has come to drive the jaguar x e oh i do like how this car starts up brilliantly. So we put the car into drive 
and we're gonna drive away. Drive away into the sunset with the Jaguar XE. Now I have to tell you that I drove this car and um, I find it quite quite nice and enjoyable. Um, it's very elegant, it's very stylish and um, it's very comfortable. Now I uh, did a video with a 3 Series and um, no doubt the Germans are the Germans but I have to tell you that I like this car more than the 3 Series um, due to the fact that it's very elegant and uh, it's very stylish and it has a lot and a lot of things on it and um, I don't know somehow the quality of the materials seems better in this one now regarding how reliable this car is well I'm not even gonna get into that because well <laughs> honestly you don't buy a Jaguar to be reliable uh, you buy a car you buy a Jag just because it's a Jag that's it it's a statement it's a very beautiful and elegant car and um, well you buy it to be noticed and to have fun with it and when I mean fun you don't actually toss this car around or do crazy things with it you can uh, but it's not recommended. Um, I drove it on sport mode uh, or dynamic because Jaguar doesn't have sport it has dynamic driving so I drove it on dynamic and I have to tell you that it's very responsive. This 2 liter diesel engine is quite agile um, this automatic 8-speed gearbox actually changes gears very smoothly and elegant you don't even know when the gears are being changed um, the paddle shifters are very responsive when you press uh, the down shifter or the up it immediately goes in uh, into the gear that you want it to go overall the car is very pleasant to drive is very elegant it's a very pleasant place to be in um, regarding wind noise and um, outside noise I have to tell you that it's good it's very good isolated but it's not perfect you can actually hear this uh, 2 liter diesel engine sometimes and um, I'm not a fan of 2 liter diesel engines I know that, that they are reliable they are very economical and um, you'll pay low tax low insurance and things like that but I do rather have the 3 liter diesel engine um, if you want to get a diesel but you can also go for the petrols if you fancy the petrols anyway overall um, it's been a very pleasant journey for me driving this car the steering wheel it's very light the the steering column apparently is electrically uh, powered the um, the ride quality it's quite good due to the fact that um, these are the 18 inch wheels and provides they provide a better comfort than the 19 inch wheels and um, yeah the seats as I mentioned are very very good they hug in all the right places they are brilliant design uh, leather is soft and you can actually drive this car from England to all the way across Europe uh, without getting tired it's a very pleasant car to have it's a very pleasant car to own and it's a very pleasant car just to look at it so as I mentioned this car looks like a beautiful woman on heels very elegant very stylish and at the end of the day well you want to take it home so if you like my video press a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel that was it for today and I hope to see you soon all the best for you guys and see you in the next episodes